Hello everyone, welcome back to another fishing simulator video and in this video I'm going to show you some pretty good tips on how you can take out sharks and orcas fairly easily. But let's get right into the video. So the first thing I am going to be going over is of course the spears in order to hunt them. Now, just in general, it does help having the Emperor ja um, Javelin, or if you if you have the Robux, you can buy all this stuff, because my lord, are they overpowered? But this should work with really any spear starter from the Shark Tooth Spear. Or really any spear at all, so it doesn't really matter which one you have. But this is definitely suggested to have the Emperor's Javelin. Now, the next thing is if you want to go out for a long period of time, you definitely need a big backpack. Now, I'm using the biggest available one outside of spinning Robux, which holds 60 backpack spaces. Now, you can use any one of these for this, but if you want to be out there for a while, the chest is definitely the best one. Now, for the third tip is you, you're you going to need a big boat for this. You're not a big boat. You're going to need a good and fast boat. Now, you don't want to do this with a rowboat. It's not, it's not reliable. The, sp the first speedboat is decent for it because you can like shoot at many angles. The fishing boat is not suggested for fighting sharks at all. Now the speedboat, this is definitely the one you want to use. This is the end goal one, especially if you're with a group of people because it can fit three people on the back of the boat. So you can get four different people throwing um, spears at the shark from while you're running from it. And also it doesn't look like it, but you can actually throw to the sides too, which is very handy. Now, if you want, if you if you only have the yacht, it's also necessary, but it's a little bit more restricting because the driver can only shoot throughout the door, but you definitely can use the yacht if needed. And the armor boat, I don't own it, but the speed alone, this tactic doesn't too, work too well with it. But I'm guessing if you max out the specialty, it's a good boat for shark hunting too, just sitting there, but the speed does kind of restrict it. So we're going to be using the speedboat too. This works with the other speedboat also, but I just like this one a little bit more. Let's uh, take this one out and let's show you where to fish or well hunt at. So when you're hunting these things, I do highly suggest hunting sharks, but in general, just for the concept, over here next to Shadow Island, this is where a lot of orcas spawn. Now down in between Shadow and Eruption around like these coordinates on the screen, this is, this is like 50-50 orcas and sharks. It's kind of random. And if you want to fight sharks, you want to head down towards like below Eruption Island and below spawn. I find there's a lot of sharks to spawn over here. So let me head over there to go hunt some sharks real fast. Now in general, this is mainly going to be using your speed. This is why you want to do speed boats or really any fast boat. Because this tactic relies on you being able to move pretty fast. And just the default speed boat should be good enough. Even though mine's upgraded a bit. I'm definitely going to try my best to show you. I'm pretty sure, I don't, I think it was just some, okay, those guys are fishing. Let's see if we can see any sharks anywhere. Now, do keep in mind that sharks are pretty rare. It, it will be hard sometimes to actually find them, but they normally spawn in big groups. So if you find one, you should be able to find a couple. All right, here is a shark right here. Now, I'm not really gonna, that's a flying shark. I'm not really going to be throwing at the shark. I'm mainly just going to be showing you like how to maneuver for like if you're doing a low amount of damage or whatever, or even a decent amount of damage. Now, these sharks are kind of stupid. They're pretty stupid. So like once you get your speed, like once you get your like them dealt with, like we have a ton of them, you, all you really got to do is spin in circles. And that's all you really have to do in order to actually um, kill these things. And as you can see, like no, I'm not getting hit at all. I'm keeping up my speed with them, just going around in circles. And legitimately, it is fairly easy. Now, the only downside is if you have guys like this in my circle path, it will cause some issues. But if you just go around in circles like this, all you can pretty, pretty easily avoid them. Now, I wouldn't recommend going to that right away. Like, I would do, like, bigger circles, like, straight, turn, straight, turn, if you have, like, dealing with them all spread out apart, until they get close together. All right, here we go. Here's a big group of them. Now, these guys are actually a little bit spread apart, so you gotta do little wider circles, and they're catching up to me, too. These guys are fast. But these, the orcas require a little bit bigger circles in order to actually keep away from. 
But like, if you you can legit train as many as you want. I think I've trained up to like ten of these things, all in a circle like this for like a while till I got them all. But this is definitely the best way to actually fish these things. Now it is a little bit better if you have friends on the back of the boat, even if they have the basic spear, they're still very helpful to have. But the general goal is just keep them behind you the entire time. And as you can see, like I'm tearing through these things fairly easily without it even getting hit once. So you don't even need a healthy of a boat. You just got to keep driving around in circles. Like right now, I'm literally just holding W and S at the same time. And that's all I'm doing while turning my camera. It is amazing. Like you can even do it like this if you need. If you can't like turn your camera, you can just zoom out really far and throw like this and it's fairly easy just got to aim near them and to be fair this is actually very effective because we just took out like four orcas in no time now do you remember that the orcas spawn up here orcas and sharks spawn around this area and the sharks mostly spawn over here by themselves but E, I hope this tutorial did help you out. I definitely, definitely is handy because I have like 127 seas, like creatures done. And that is actually a pretty good amount. And that doesn't sound like a lot amount, but you have to realize I haven't done too much of this stuff. I mainly fish because it makes a lot more money. But if this tutorial did help you out, let me know in the comments and I will see you all next time. Peace.